This is question 23 from the June 2016 Algebra 2 exam. So we're looking at the population of Jamesburg from the years 2010 and 2013. We need to figure out how this sequence can be recursively modeled. What I want to do here is take each term and divide it by the previous one and see if we can notice a pattern. And that's going to help us figure out the, the proper equation. And so when you calculate these three um, out, you'll notice that we do get the same answer for each of them. If we're rounding, they're all pretty darn close to 1.00375, which is great. That's going to make this much easier to figure out. I mean, essentially, based on this information, we can we can see that it's following a pattern that it's increasing um, by be, we're multiplying by this number each time consistently. In other words, to find out the next term in the sequence, we multiply by uh, the previous number by this number. And um, so looking to see if that it happens, it does here in option number three. Notice that it says the first term is 250,000. And then to find out every term after that, we take 1.00375 and multiply it by the previous term, just as we were talking about. So that makes perfect sense. I mean, looking at the other ones, option number four would only be true um, going from the first to second iteration of adding 937, but clearly they're not adding 937 each time. Anyway, uh, that's all for this video, and thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.